My BFI player choice this week is a groundbreaking work by Gilo Pontecorvo, a fictionalized documentary which won a Golden Lion at Venice in 1966, was nominated for a foreign language film Oscar in 1967, then nominated for two further Academy Awards for Best Screenplay and Best Director in 1969, but didn't open in some territories until the early 70s for fear of its revolutionary power, the Battle of Algiers. Depicting the resistance against French colonial authorities during the Algerian War, focusing on the period between 1954 and 57, Pontecorvo's film was shot on location in a neo-realist documentary style which gave the impression that it was less drama than reportage. Indeed, American releases included a disclaimer clarifying that what was being shown was not newsreel. Today, the film remained so convincing that in 2003, the US Department of Defense was reported to have screened the Battle of Algiers for commanders and troops serving in Iraq, hoping it would teach them about the realities of guerrilla warfare. Co-written by Franco Salinas and inspired by the prison writings of Saadi Youssef, who appears in the film as Al Hadi Jafar, the Battle of Algiers was hailed as a most extraordinary film by the New York Times and has since been accepted as a post-war classic. But when it premiered at Venice in 66, French officials walked out of the festival in protest and the French government promptly slapped a year-long ban on the film. And even after the ban was lifted, French cinemas remained unable to screen the Battle of Algiers due to protests and even bomb threats from hardline groups who claimed the film to be one-sided and inflammatory. Over the years, Pontecorvo's masterpiece has lost none of its cutting-edge power to alarm, to inform, and to provoke debate. Thank you.